Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. The question that I get asked the most on this channel is how do I get started roping? And today we're gonna to answer that question. Now, the very first thing that I tell people is to find a team roping community near you. Now, when you're done with this video, you can go onto Google and just type in team roping Texas, team roping Colorado, team roping Montana, wherever you are. Just type that in and start there. The very first thing that you need to do is find people in your area that can help you out. What are you doing, dude? I love when people ask me for questions, right? They ask just general questions about how to get started, but it's very hard to answer them just over a comment section. So what I tell people is find somebody in your area that can help you, that can explain and kind of get you on the right path. That's what I did. I found some people locally where I live that could help me. Now I should clarify, this video is for people that are brand new to horses, brand new to roping, um, and, and so that's kind of the way that I'm gonna answer these questions. The second thing that I will tell people is before you get a horse, before you start roping live cattle, before you start roping the dummy, is get really good at using this. Using this rope is gonna be the best tool for you. And all I mean is, go get you a dummy, and I've got a dummy right here, but let me see if I can find uh, the kind of beginner model. This uh, Helomatic is one of the best tools that I've ever bought to improve my roping, but it is pretty pricey. I think I've got, I think I've got another one around here. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah. So this is a roping dummy. Um, what you do is you just put this on a hay bale and this acts as a great roping dummy. Now you certainly can go and buy one of these Helomatics or one of those Smarties, but if you're wanting to kind of ease into this a little bit and go the more budget friendly route, all you need is a rope and one of those hay bale uh, head roping dummies and that's really all that you need. Now you're gonna wanna get really, really good at swinging that rope and once you've gotten that part down, then you can move onto the horses. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of self-promotion because I have done some saddling videos, some team roping tack videos, but you're definitely gonna wanna get a saddle. Oop, let me get you guys out a little bit. You are gonna wanna get a saddle with a front and back cinch. You are gonna wanna have it all rigged out like I've got right now. Um, you're gonna need saddle pads. You're gonna need, hopefully this isn't too dark. You're gonna need uh, head stalls, bits, tie downs. You're gonna need to know where to put them. You're gonna need bell boots. You're gonna need splint boots if I could find any, which I can't. You're gonna need ropes, you're gonna need gloves, you're gonna need lots of money. And you're also gonna need all of the things to keep your horse well-groomed, well-maintained, and all of this stuff you can find at NRS Ranch, Decatur, Texas. You can actually go online and use the promo code Barrett10 for 10% off of all your orders. And uh, that's just another way that you can help this channel. Now I know that this all seems like a lot, and it is, it's a lot to get into. And the biggest thing, the biggest piece of advice that I could give you is don't wait. I waited probably four or five years before I actually got into team roping thinking, oh, I need more money to do it. Oh, I need more resources to do it. And while some of that may be true, the best thing that you can do is just start. Pick up a rope, start swinging a dummy, start talking to people, start learning. Even if it takes you a little bit to get uh, a horse put together, a trailer put together, all that sort of good stuff. You can still learn. And there are plenty of people that are out there that are willing to teach you. So don't wait around, don't procrastinate. If you really want to get into roping, just start now. Now you obviously can't rope without a horse and that is the second part to all of this. Get really good at riding a horse. Too many people jump into this sport and they don't ride a horse well or they kind of ride one well but then they're not really committed to it and you can't team rope without a horse. Obviously. 
And I'm not talking about riding a horse um, while trying to rope and all that. I'm talking about just riding a horse. Go find somebody, a trainer near you, a horseback riding coach, um, somebody that can teach you really how to ride a horse and be a good horseman. Now, I know that this seems like a lot of time uh, before you actually get to run your first year, and it is. It is a lengthy process. It's really hard to be green at roping and green at riding horses and, and then try to rope. You need to get really good at handling rope and being on a horse, having your horsemanship down, being able to really rope and control your body. Oh, buddy. Give me all the dogs and give me all the horses. I'll take them. Everybody's wanting to be helpful tonight. Bo, come on. Good girl, Jitty Bug. What did you guys think of Jade's first stock lesson? I thought she did pretty good. Hey, baby girl, come here. Good girl. I thought she did so good. If you haven't watched that video yet, I'll uh, link it up here somewhere. Now, my final piece of advice would be to go and talk to a pro, like a true professional, whether that be in a clinic or message them on Instagram or find a website or something. Go and talk to a legitimate professional. You know, a lot of these pros have clinics and that would be a good thing to go and watch and go and learn a little bit and go and spectate. Uh, I'm sure that they'll let you do that. I would go and talk to them about the best route to go, right? They're professionals. This is what they do for a living. Go and talk to them about horses. Ask them to look for a very, very beginner horse and keep you in mind. Tell them your budget. Tell them what you're thinking and, uh, and what you want to do. Pros are the best resources that we have outside of video content to learn about roping. So utilize it. You know, if you couldn't tell by now or, or watching my YouTube channel, um, horses and team roping are my passion. And so I hope that this video helps out at least a few of you. If you have any other questions, message me on Instagram, shoot me a comment down below. Uh, if you like this video and you like our channel, make sure to subscribe. It really does help us out a, a whole bunch and, and we really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. A gorgeous day to um, it's gonna extend and then get good at horse it horse right you know the stock uh, paddle whoop let me guys get you ranch Decatur Tech